Hi, I'm Yudaka. Today I will talk about my new tool to suggest how to apply proof by induction both quickly and accurately. In 2005, Professor Gramlich published a survey paper analyzing problems surrounding inductive theorem proving. In summary, he predicted that in the near future, inductive theorem proving will only be successful for very specialized domains for very restricted classes of conjectures. And inductive theorem proving will continue to be a very challenging engineering process. He wasn't the only researcher who made such a bleak prediction. Computer scientists kept working on the automation of the proof by induction. They held a dark stool seminar, workshops in 2000, 2013, 2015, 2016, and 2018. Yet, the automation of proof by induction remains as a long standing challenge in computer science. So, the automation of proof by induction is very difficult, but if you look at the various theorem proving projects, you can find many proofs by induction written by human engineers. In fact, we human engineers have various heuristics about how to apply proof by induction. These are screenshots of a textbook about theorem proving. They show one induction heuristic and one generalization heuristic, highlighted in yellow. The induction heuristic reads, do induction on argument number i if the function is defined by recursion in argument number i. The generalization heuristic reads, generalize goals for induction by universally quantifying all three variables. With these heuristics in mind, let me show one example. This is Isabel. Isabel is a proof assistant. Using Isabel, we specify mathematical conjectures and prove them. In this example, we defined two functions for list reversal and proved that these two functions are equivalent to each other. Using these heuristics, we can guess that we should apply induction on Xs while generalizing Ys. To apply proof by induction in Isabel, we should use the induction tactic. Tactics are sub-tools inside Isabel, which allow us to invoke certain procedures to attack proof goals. Sometimes, human engineers have to provide arguments to navigate such tactics. In our case, we have to specify that we should apply induction on Xs while generalizing Ys. After applying proof by induction, we have a base case and induction case as sub-goals. We can discharge both sub-goals using auto which is a general purpose tactic. For most cases, we can apply proof by induction effectively using the induction tactic if we pass right arguments to the induction tactic. Previously, we tried to automate this process by building a tool that takes an inductive problem and returns a list of promising arguments to the induction tactic. The tool is called Smart Induct. We evaluated Smart Induct using small inductive problems. The evaluation results were positive, but it also revealed certain limitations of Smart Induct. Namely, Smart Induct can't predict variable generalization, and it also tends to be slow for some cases. To overcome the limitation of Smart Induct, today, I present my new tool, which can produce recommendations more quickly and accurately. But before presenting the new tool, let's review how Smart Induct produces recommendations. Given an inductive problem, 
Smart Induct produces many candidate arguments for the induction tactic. But in this step, Smart Induct doesn't know which arguments are good ones, so it naively picks variables appearing in the problem and produces many candidate tactics. In step 2, Smart Induct applies the induction tactic with arguments produced in step 1, and it filters out some candidates that are obviously unpromising. For example, if an induction tactic with certain arguments doesn't return any sub-goal at all, we can't continue the proof search. So Smart Induct filters out such tactics in step 2. Then, it applies 19 heuristics to the remaining candidates. These heuristics are encoded in a Boolean query language and they analyze the syntactic structures of proof goals as well as the arguments passed to the induction tactic. Each heuristic carries a certain point, and if the result of a heuristic is true, the corresponding candidate arguments accumulate that point. Finally, Smart Induct presents the five most promising candidates to the user. This is how Smart Induct works. With this architecture in mind, let's see how our new tool makes recommendations more quickly and accurately. My new tool is called SEMINT, which is short for Semantic Induction. Given a proof goal, SEMINT produces a number of candidate induction tactics. Unlike Smart Induct, SEMINT uses the syntactic structure of the goal as hints and tries to make a small number of candidates. Another difference is that SEMINT doesn't consider any variable generalization in this step, so that it can minimize the number of candidates after step 1. Step 2 is pretty much the same. It applies each induction tactic and filters out unpromising tactics. In step 3, we apply 36 heuristics to the remaining candidates. This step is also similar to step 3 in Smart Induct. However, we use a new domain specific language called Selfie to encode heuristics for SEMIND. I will tell you more about this language in two minutes. After giving scores to each candidate, we discard candidates with lower scores. For each remaining candidate, we produce new candidates that involve variable generalization in step 4. Finally, we apply 8 generalization heuristics to the candidates and present the most promising ones to the user. As you probably noticed, SEMINT first decides on what terms we should apply in action. Then it removes less promising candidates and finally analyzes variable generalization for the remaining candidates so that it can produce recommendations quickly. Maybe you are wondering what heuristics SEM in the applies in step 3 and step 5. But explaining heuristics one by one doesn't give you much information. So I try to give you an idea of what kind of heuristics we can write in Selfie using one simple example. This is the generalization heuristic we have seen earlier. This heuristic is not actually complete. There is a caveat to this heuristic. It reads, however, this heuristic shouldn't be applied blindly. It's not always required, and the additional quantifiers can complicate matters in some cases. 
The variables that should be quantified are typically those that change in recursive calls. The important thing here is that this caveat refers not only to the inductive problem itself, but also the definition of relevant constants. So let's see how we implement such heuristic in Selfie. This is how we implement that heuristic in two Selfie programs. Basically, program 2 analyzes a given inductive problem, while program 3 investigates the relevant constant definitions. The two programs interact with each other via what I call definitional quantifier. Intuitively, program 2 asks questions about relevant definitions, and program 3 answers such questions. In this case, program 3 is named generalize nth argument ob and it appears as an argument passed to the definitional quantifier in program 2. The interpreter evaluates the definitional quantifier to true. If program 3 returns true when it takes generalized nth and f term as arguments for at least one clause defining f term, Okay, it's a little confusing, so let's see how it works for our concrete problem. In the introduction, I demonstrated how to prove this lemma about two reverse functions. As I mentioned earlier, program 2 analyzes the inductive problem itself, while program 3 investigates the relevant constant definitions when applied to this inductive problem. Program 2 asks, may I generalize Ys, which appears as the second argument of Rev2. Then, Program 3 answers, yes, you can do so because the second argument changes from the left-hand side to the right-hand side in the second clause defining Rev2. Importantly, these programs execute such analysis without mentioning any concrete terms. For example, the definitional quantifier implicitly represents the second clause. F term abstractly refers to the concrete function rev2, and generalized and represents the natural number 2, so that program 3 can check whether the second argument changes from the left-hand side to the right-hand side in the definition. This is how I managed to encode this generalization heuristic without using concrete terms. Now we have a rough idea about heuristics used in SEMEND. Based on this architecture, I developed a recommendation tool and wrote a paper for each guy. Since the title of my paper is Faster, Smarter, Proof by Induction, let's see if this tool is indeed faster and smarter using 1095 inductive problems. First, I compared the speed of my new tool at Ichikai 2021 against that of the old one by measuring how often each tool returns recommendations within 5 timeouts. This is the result. We can see that for each timeout, the new tool returns more recommendations than the old one. For example, given a timeout of half a second, the new tool returned recommendations for 24.7% of inductive problems, whereas the old tool returns recommendations for only 3.5% of them. Second, I counted how often the recommendations coincide with the choice of human engineers. 
This is the result. For instance, the columns labeled the top one show that if each tool recommends only one candidate, the new tool's recommendations coincide with the choices of human engineers for 38.2% of times, while the old tool's recommendation coincide with the choice of human engineers for 20.1% of times. We see that a new tool consistently outperforms the old one. Recommendation tool for proof by induction, which is faster and smarter than the state of the art. Let me finish this talk with a demo. Here we have our example problem. If we invoke semint, semint immediately produces recommendations in the output panel in the lower half, which we can copy and paste with one click. Okay, let's summarize what we covered today. Today, I introduced a recommendation tool for proof by induction in Isabel Hall. Compared to the state of the art, our tool can produce recommendations more quickly and accurately. The tool is faster because we employ an aggressive pruning strategy. And the tool is smarter because the heuristics analyze not only the problems themselves, but also relevant constant definitions. If you enjoyed, visit our GitHub repository and follow me on Twitter. Bye.